Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. Now, we've all heard people say when referring to large age gap in relationships that age is just a number. And we see this typically in many Filipina relationships with Western men. We see a very large age gap in their relationship. Not every time, but it is becoming more common. And quite often, as in this picture we've got up here, you see a very young Filipina in her 20s with a man maybe in his 70s or 80s. So that's going to be the point of this video. I'm going to tell you what I think about the saying age is just a number in relation to a young Filipina with an older or a much older Western man. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this topic, stay tuned. So I believe that when people say age is just a number, it's usually a way of just shutting the conversation down so they don't have to really address the real issues at play when you've got a younger woman with a much, much, much older man. Now, as I say, I'm specifically referring to a Filipina in her 20s with a Western man in his 70s or 80s. And I'll give you my four reasons why age is not just a number and how it can be very critical in a relationship, especially from the Filipina's point of view, who's much younger, and how she will be able to manage throughout this relationship with a much, much older man. Now, firstly, commonality is an important part in any relationship. So that's finding things you both have in common that you can talk about. Now, when you've got a young Filipina that's in her 20s and you've got a Western man in his 80s, they've come from totally different worlds and they've really got nothing at all in common. What could they possibly have in common when they come from different countries, had different growing up, different eras? They really don't have anything much in common. And when you start a relationship with somebody, you need to have those common things in order to connect with that person and to grow that relationship. So really, from the very start, the relationship is being stifled because you don't have that commonality factor to start to draw that intimate relationship together by talking about things that are mutually interesting to the both of you. Now, the second thing is, your sex drive lessens as you, quite a lot as you get older and older. You may end up having no drive for sex at all. So how will that then affect your much younger Filipina wife? Will she remain loyal to you and stay with you despite what she's feeling? Or will she start to search for somebody else who can fulfill those needs? And if she stays, will she suffer in silence and become unhappy and resentful? Or will she play around behind your back to fulfill and meet her needs? And if she was to play around behind your back, would that really bother you? So there's some pretty interesting questions around the sexual element of that relationship that are very, very important as time goes by. And is it really fair on your young Filipina who's in the prime of her life to deny her a very important need in her life. Now, the third point is as you get older, you become less active and your young Filipina wife who's still in the prime of her life and has plenty of energy is always keen to get outside and do things while you might be just happy sitting in there inside the house and doing a crossword puzzle. So my point here is, is that she's still young and vibrant and you're old with less energy and how is that going to impact in the relationship between your young filipino wife and yourself who's let's face it heading towards the end of their life and in time will she regret the things that she's done in this relationship you know maybe even marrying you and will she feel robbed of her youth these are all natural things for her to feel and to think about and it can be quite tormenting on the young Filipina. And the fourth point I want to raise in this video is 
will she go from being your wife to your nurse? So as you get much older and you go into your 80s, you're going to need more and more nursing assistance. Now in Australia here, a lot of people will go into nursing homes when they get that stage. But in this instance with a Filipina, she's more than likely going to be the one that's going to be caring for you as, as you need more and more help as you get into your last few years of life. And the question is really, is she happy to be looking after you 24 seven at the expense of what she could be doing in her life? Or will she resent you in the end for that? Now, Filipinas are very loving and caring people and very possibly she will stand by you until your last days. But the point is, is will she actually be happy in those years? And will she be resentful of what she's lost through all those years? Now, every Filipina is different and every relationship is different. I'm just giving this video from my point of view, how I would see things from more the young Filipina's point of view rather than the old man's point of view because he's going to be getting what he wants. He's going to be having his needs fulfilled, whatever they may be. And it's more around how the Filipina will come through this psychologically and emotionally, whether she can handle it. So it certainly would be very difficult for anyone, but especially a young Filipina who hasn't had a lot of life's experiences to be able to manage such a situation. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments below. I'd like to hear what you've got to think about what I've said here. Do it in a respectful way, of course. Don't forget to share the video around with anyone who may enjoy this video and all your networks. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to get more videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate all your support. Take care and bye for now.